Hi everybody, we're doing raw slam leg. It's very good recipe, it's very special to me. And this recipe we can uh, show the ingredients and in stages. Each stage have certain ingredients. We'll see it, then we'll continue. We'll take it in two steps. First step, we can do marination. Let's see the ingredients. Okay, we're gonna need one cup of olive oil, one cup of yogurt, two bay leaves, five cloves of garlic, one onion, a bit of fresh mint, a bit of thyme, and we have here the spices. It's one, two teaspoon mix spices, one teaspoon of nutmeg, one teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of sweet chili, and one teaspoon of cardinal. We we gonna need one large spoon of mustard, one large spoon of western shower sauce, one large spoon of hot pepper, Tabasco. Let's mince it. I'll put the onion, the garlic, mint. This mint is washed, of course. I put the thyme. I'm gonna put on the oil the spices teaspoon of salt. one teaspoon of salt is very important ingredients I'm gonna add the yogurt I have my tray here with saran wrap on it. I'm gonna put my meat. I put saran wrap so I wouldn't lose any of this marination. Very important to make some hole in this meat. And let this stuff go inside. I'm gonna seal this with a saran wrap. Uh, and uh, let it stay with marination for at least one day. I'm gonna leave it for two days and then we'll continue cooking it. The saran wrap just to make sure all this yummy stuff stuck to the skin of it. Hi, hi again. We have the barbecue for one reason. We gonna sear, we gonna sear this meat over the barbecue. Then we put it in the oven. We gonna put some oil. We'll sear it on one side. Then we sear it on the other side. I'm gonna close it. Okay. Close it on the other side. Check the other one. Hmm. Hmm. Looks so yummy. We'll leave it for another five minutes. I have the barbecue on, so I'm gonna put some veggie as well. And later on we're gonna do some roasted potato and some rice to go with these two little baby here. We'll put the stem side down first, then we the mushroom. Put it on this side. Gonna hold it on the side. We're almost done about the vegetables. Some of them is really done. I'll just grab out some curd on that side.
I have a rack already on the tray. I just take them from here, then I'll bake them for almost three hours, low heat, and then I hit I raise the heat in the end. See most of the browning done. We'll look at the ingredients. It goes on the top of the lamb leg before we put in the oven. We have one big spoon dry rosemary, half teaspoon black pepper, and one teaspoon salt, two big spoon of tomato paste, two ounce fresh mint, and one ounce fresh thyme. And for, we have some potato to go around it. We put salt and pepper for this potato. Let's combine all the ingredients and put it in the oven. We'll put the tomato paste, salt and pepper, the mint, some water, a dash of olive oil. Okay. We're going to use the spatula later. Let's deal with the potato. We need some pepper on it, some oil, and a dash of salt. Okay, now we'll put it around our meat. Let's paste it. We'll use a bit, and then by the time we flip it over, we use the other bit. We'll cover the lamb leg and roast it in the oven for three hours at a temperature of 270. Then we read the temperature for the last half an hour. Okay, we're gonna flip this meat, take off the rack. The potato is barely warm. I'm gonna flip it on the other side and baste it again. We'll put in the oven, now 345 Fahrenheit, for another one half hour. We'll cap and put in the oven for another one, one half hour. Now we're cooking the rice. We have basmati rice. I have, I have four cups here, one cup here, because I want to cook them in different color and then mix them together. For the rice, I have four ounce minced onion, four ounce minced tomato, two ounce minced red pepper, pimentos, two large spoon mixed spices for the rice we buy from the store, and one teaspoon maggi powder, one teaspoon coriander. I have two ounces of butter, one ounce of oil. It's hot now. I'm gonna put the onion in it. The spices, I'm gonna mix them up all together so I can add a little bit to the white rice and a little bit and the rest to the red rice. This is the white rice, I'm gonna add just one spoon. For the white rice I have secret ingredients, I color with it, 
we're gonna reveal it after we cook the rice okay let's add the boiling water for the white rice and we cover it we put it on low heat now this start changing color we're gonna add the tomato mm -hmm. and we we want to wait until we dry most of the water in the tomato then we continue most of the water dry out as we see i'm gonna cook the spices a little bit then add the pimentos then add the rice Add boiling water just to cover the rice. I'm gonna bring it to boiling, then I'll cover it up. I'll cover it up and lower the heat. For the white rice, I'm gonna color it with some minced zafferan. So now we have my rice, some of them yellow, some of them white. We'll scoop, we'll scoop the white rice on the top of the red rice, so we have both colors. We are slicing the meat of the bones, so we can serve it on the top of the rice. It's very hot, that's why I'm using the tongues and my knife Then we scoop, then we are scooping the roast potato in the serving plate. Which we place the other whole lamb leg on the top of it and surround the leg with the grilled vegetable let's garnish it some raisin and some almond here the lamb leg to style the one with the potato and the one with the rice best regards have a nice meal best regards chef attack bye bye